Okay, we're going to gather the data to uh, explore the effects of gravity uh, between large objects, in this case a couple of asteroids, uh, as uh, we move them around and change distances and change the amount of mass in each one. Alright, so for the first section we're going to be uh, changing the mass of Remus, and we're going to go up by one each time, and we're going to see what the new gravitational force is, so that we can get a sense of how gravitational forces change with mass increases. So uh, I've got everything set for the first one. Uh, do a run, and we get that the force of gravity between the two, which must be equal and opposite, is 267 newtons. Uh, then we're gonna reset, and we're gonna make it uh, Remus be 200 and then we're going to run and we'll get the force and it's 534 newtons okay then we're going to reset and we're going to up to three and we'll run and 800 newtons okay. and we'll reset and we'll go to four, and we'll run, and we're at a thousand seventy. And then we'll reset, and we'll go to five, and take a run, and we're at thirteen hundred and thirty newtons. and we're at 1600 newtons and then we'll reset and we'll go to 700 700 and run and we're at uh, 1870 and then we'll reset and go to 8, and we're at 2140, and then we'll reset, and we'll go to 9, and run, and we're at 24, 100, and then we will Reset and go to a thousand. Uh, so one times ten to ten is the same as ten times ten to the nine, and we get twenty six seventy. Okay, so then you're going to go ahead and uh, answer the based on the values we got what the relationships are. Start looking at the patterns. This is all about patterns. Newton figured out his universal law of gravitation really from the uh, astronomical patterns of how the planets moved around the sun and the uh, moon moved around the earth okay, and on this one we're going to keep the distance constant at 400 meters uh, but we're going to double or triple or change both of the objects at once so for the first one we're going back to 400 and then we're going to make Remus 1 times 10 to the 9th and Romulus 1 times 10 to the 9th and we get 417 okay we're going to reset we're going to go with uh, both of them at 2 times 10 to the 9th so we essentially just double both of them and we get 1670 Then we're going to go to uh, each one being three times as much as they were at the very beginning. And we get 3,750. Okay, then we're going to go to two for Remus and leave Romulus at three. And we're at 2,500. Newtons. 
And then we're going to go back to 1 and leave the other one 3. And we're at 1250. Okay, so we're looking for what the impact is if we uh, continually change uh, the masses of the two objects. Okay, so that first page is all about changing the mass. The second page is all about changing the distances. So we're going to uh, set the masses to two constant values, one large, one small. So we're going to set Remus to 1 times 10 to the 10th, the largest value, and Romulus to the smallest value. And then we're going to start with a distance of 200 meters between them and we're going to uh, get the value and we're talking about uh, 1.7 times 10 to the fourth which we can write down as 0, 0, 0, 17,000 newtons okay then we're going to up that to 300 and now we're at 7,400 Set that, and then we're going to change this to 400. And we're going to run that, and that's 4,100. 4,200. We'll round that off two sig figs. Okay, then we're going to change it to 500. Run that, and that's 2,700. And we're going to run that, and that's 1850. And then we're going to reset that, and we're going to go to uh, 700. And that's 1360. And then we're going to go to 800 and we're down to 1040 and then we're going to 900 824 and then we're going to 1000 and we're at 6 Okay, so now we've gathered that data. Uh, what we're actually going to do from here is compare uh, as the distances, uh, ratios of distances, what is the ratio of the force. So as an example in this error information down here, you're going to take the distance from the second trial, which is 400, and you're going to divide it by the distance from the first trial, which is 200, and that's a ratio of 2. And then you're going to take the gravitational force from the second trial, um, and the second trial here is number three. Okay, so the, the, you're flipping it over. So we're going to take um, 4,200, and we're going to divide that by the gravitational force from the first trial, which would be number one which is 17,000 which is a ratio of 0 0.25 or 1 quarter then for the next one you would take 600 divided by 200 is the ratio of 3 then you're going to take the gravitational force at number 5 which is 1850 and you're going to divide that by the gravitational force at number one, which is 1700, uh, 17,000. So now we've tripled the distance, and then we take 1850 divided by 17,000, and we get 0 0.108. Uh, 109, which is a ratio of essentially one ninth. Okay, so try that with the other ones and see if you can figure out what's happening with the ratio of distances and the force that the object feels.
Uh, from there, you'll be in position to try to create an overall um, relationship between force of gravity and the distance you are from the object and the uh, masses of the object. And uh, we'll go on from there.